In Creo Parametric 8.0, you can now create a stiff shrink feature in cabling mode. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I have an assembly open. It's already got a cable harness. Let's go to Applications and then Cabling. And I've got a coordinate system that I've already created in my assembly where I want that stiff shrink feature to go. The important thing when you create that coordinate system, make sure that the z-axis is pointing along the direction of the routing of the wires that you want to go through there. Before I create my stiff shrink feature, I'm going to create the spool that will control its electrical parameters. Let's go to the spools command and then from the menu manager, I will choose create. And then for the type, this is going to be a sheath. And now for the name of the spool, for lack of originality, I'm just going to call it stiff shrink one and hit the enter key. And this brings up the parameters dialog box. Here we have the various different columns. Let me move this over so I can show you that we have the name of our feature and then the type, the sheath type, is set to shrink that's what we want there are a couple other subtypes for other different kinds of cosmetic features that you can create in cabling mode but you want this set to shrink then we have the wall thickness my units are in millimeters i'm going to make this a big value just so that it is easier to see and then for the minimum bend radius let's enter in a value of four here we have our units are in millimeters and here we have the pre-shrunk inner diameter and ah, let's again just crank that up just so that it is a bigger value let's set that to a value of i don't know 10. and let me make the dialog box a little bit wider again just so that you can see it we have other different parameters in here so for example we have our color it is non-existent if you use the name of a color that exists in your file, it will use this color for the feature. Let me enter in BLK and hit the enter key. And then we have our outer diameter value. For the outer diameter, let me use an initial value of 14 just based on my pre-shrunk inner diameter and my wall thickness. Okay, that is good for my electrical parameters. Once again, as I've shown in other videos, if you go to the view drop down menu, there is a columns command. There are a few other different columns that you can add in here, like density. That is a linear density, not a traditional volume density. And we've also got mass units, color code, etc. But I'm not going to add in any other columns. Let's click the OK button and hit the done return to get out of the menu manager. Now to create my stiff shrink feature, let's click on the command in the cosmetics group. You will not find this command in Creo Parametric 7.0 and earlier. And when I click on that, here we're first prompted to select the placement of the item. I'm going to select that in a moment. I just want to show you some of the other different controls from the dashboard. From this drop down list, you will have any applicable spools that you can use. If you did not create a spool beforehand, you can use this icon to create a new tape spool on the fly, but I'm going to cancel out of there. And then here we have the length of the stiff shrink. Let me enter in a value that I want to use, 25. There is a properties tab that where you can change the name of the feature. I'm just going to change it so that it is different than the name of the spool that I am using to avoid confusion. All right, for the placement, you have two different choices. If I go to the selection filter down in the bottom right hand corner, you can choose a coordinate system or a feature. And by feature, they mean a cable location. Now be aware, whenever I've tried to use an existing cable location, I end up getting a regeneration failure. For some reason, it does not work. So I always use a coordinate system. So let's choose the coordinate system. And you can see a preview of how the stiff shrink feature would be routed along here. Everything looks good. Let's hit the check mark. And I'm going to turn off my coordinate system visibility in order to reduce my screen clutter. So we've got our stiff shrink feature located in the model. Now I want my wires to route through it. 
So let me change back to a center line display for the cables instead of using the thick cable display. I'm going to select one of the segments going through here and then let's right mouse click and hold and choose insert locations. And now for inserting the location, I'm going to pick one of the locations at the end of the stiff shrink and then let's select the other location going through here and you can see how the routing gets adjusted. Let's hit the check mark. And so now I've got my wires and cables going through the stiff shrink feature. Let's change back to a thick cable display. And there you can see it. That's how you can use a stiff shrink feature in Creo Parametric 8.0. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.